hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a freestyle with two totally different designs on each hand they are both going to be in the same color theme and i'm going to be using the nail reserve polishes today formerly known as nail addict you all have seen me rant and rave about them multiple times before but i will go ahead and just get into the video i'm starting off as usual by using my cuticle remover pushing back the cuticles and then removing the shine from my natural nails and then I'm gonna go in with my needle nose cuticle bit. Both of these bits are used at 5,000 rotations per minute. And I wasn't planning on keeping these on long, so I did not use any dehydrator or primer, which I regret because I love this set. It turned out so cute. But of course, I'm just applying Extend Gel on the underside of the extension and then applying it to my nail at a 45 degree angle, pressing down until the Extend Gel reaches the free edge and then flash curing with my XVX hands-free lamp. And once I complete all the fingers on this hand, then I will cure them for the full time in the full size lamp. And after I file my nails and perfect the shape, then I'm just going in with a sanding band again just to remove the shine from the extension. And then I'm going to go in with the cuticle bit for the extension and clean up the cuticle area just to make sure it's tight and crisp before I go in to polish.
So after I dust off the nails, I'm just going to wipe them all with acetone. And then for my base color, I'm going to go in with my favorite base, which is Sea Swing and Sun by Nail Reserve, formerly Nail Addict. You've seen me post about them multiple times. I love this brand. I love the consistency, the pigmentation, the opacity is just is beautiful. So I'm going to go in with two coats of this for my base color and then I will go in with my greens for my design. So the colors I'm using by Nail Reserve today are Royal Green, Ice Mint, and Emerald Widow. They're super, super pretty. I think that they complement each other so well. And green is becoming one of my favorite colors. I don't know where. It literally just came out of nowhere because I never used to like green like that. But I think it is so pretty now. So I really, really like this set. And y'all know I love abstracts. So I guess this is why I was like in love with this set. And then... I was a little upset because, like I said, I did not put on any dehydrator or primer. So, they're not going to last as long as they would normally. But it has already been two to two and a half weeks. And they're still good. Um, So, that's great. However, um, you know, I did a different design on the other hand. And that one, I did not even buff my natural nail. I'm just going to show you the design a little later those came off so 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 quick and i was so upset because they were cute too and then i was left with one hand and i was out of town and on top of that i was going to a concert and i brought some nail glue with me because i knew the way i applied them it was similar to just what i would say press ons i did use the extend gel but like i said i didn't buff i didn't prime dehydrate and two of my nails came off and i had no glue and I had just got to the concert and I had to wait in the line and I already paid to get in to the concert, like the parking lots and the concert was about to start. So I went in there with two missing nails, which is not like me, especially as a nail tech. I was upset, but anyway, I love these nails. I think I'm going to redo them again, similar, maybe a different color. For my birthday my birthday is june 25th give me some ideas if you guys have any for birthday nails comment them down below and maybe i will choose your idea to do for my nails all right so basically i am just using a liner brush i believe this is from amazon i will link it down below and i'm just going in with a different line design on every finger if y'all have been here for a while you know i do not like symmetry i like them to be different so i'm doing a different design on every nail and in the end um most of them will have a different color for the sugar glitter as well but I really like these because they were all different. Like I said, everything 
complimented each other, but nothing was exactly the same. And then to clean up the lines, I'm just using a cleanup brush. That's also from Amazon. I'll link that as well. And I did these four fingers, I believe, and then cured it just because I didn't want them to bleed. Um, when I got to the thumb, and I cured in between every color because... Um, in case I had to clean up anything, I didn't want to mess up the previous color. And then after the second color, that's when I'm going to go ahead and top coat. And do y'all see how pigmented these colors are? They are performing like gel paint. And it's just a regular polish for all the designs. This hand and the marble, I only went over it one time. Normally, I would definitely have to go over it with two if I was just using a gel polish. But like I said, that is why I love this brand because everything is so opaque it's such a nice consistency it just looks so good Alright, so after I fully cure the top coat, that's when I'm going to go in with my sugar glitter. Um, there was a little red glitter on that, but that was just the top. There's no red in the glitter I'm going to be using. And I wiped the nails with acetone first. This is a no wipe top coat, but I did it just as a precautionary measure. And I'm just going to go in with one additional line, maybe two on every nail with whatever color I haven't used. And then that is gonna be the sugar glitter. And for this, I did like um, one nail and then added the sugar glitter and cured it for uh, like 10, 15 seconds just to flash cure it because again, I didn't want it to bleed. And then I would move on to the next finger until I was completely done. And then I fully cured and dusted them all off. Look at that reveal, y'all. Ain't she cute?
add an additional color it's a really uh, pretty glitter green it's called rainforest queen also by nail reserve nail addict um, I, like I said I thought all of these colors complemented each other so so well they're super pretty um, and I just took the opposite end of my cuticle pusher and then did like some zigzags and then I'm going to take a flat brush as you see here and pick up the polish but first i'm going to apply some blossom gel to my nail wherever i think i'm going to do the design i didn't apply it to the full nail just because i didn't want it to be bulky but in hindsight i should have applied more to pretty much all the nails because i kept wanting to add more marble i would add a lot and then take away a lot and i was just i was doing a lot <laughs> But these are super simple. Um, I was out of frame here, but you'll see it in a second. All you do is literally pick up the polish, like you scoop it up with the flat brush, and then you just float it on the nail. If you don't like how it looks, um, it's going to flow out from the blossom gel. And then you can also take an additional brush and kind of feather it out, dip it in some acetone, like I am about to do. There's so many different ways to make it look good. But eventually, if you just let it sit there for a second, it's gonna look good um you also see me like patting my nail on the table just to get it to flatten out even more so it's not clumpy or bumpy and then also the marble itself will settle and it'll look a little bit different but i think this design is super super cute and it's very very easy it's not hard at all and here you see me just dabbing it with the acetone. I'm kind of like feathering out the edges, masking them even more. So this is me just floating the product on here. I'm barely even touching the nail with the brush I'm just letting the polish touch the nail and then just glide onto the nail but I'm not really manipulating it with that brush and then this I just had some of that extra glitter from the other hand the sugar glitter and I just dabbed it into the marble design. Um, it was only flash cured, so it was still partially sticky. So the glitter is still stuck. And I just felt like adding some of that in there to kind of tie it into the other hand.
and then this nail this was a hot mess i put so much marble on here and then i took so much off this nail you will see it go through a transformation i kept deciding trying to decide whether i wanted two marble nails or three and then i ended up doing the whole hand Right, and then I am just top coating this hand and then we are all set for both comment down below which hand you like the best or even which finger because they're all different um, I think I like the left hand better the abstract lines better I love them so so much I'm definitely gonna do those again um, but I do often recreate the right hand just because it's really easy to do it's a quick design but it's super cute and it looks very intricate so i definitely have love for them both but i'm gonna go with the left hand the abstract lines don't forget to let me know what you think down below and comment down your video suggestions as well as birthday nail suggestions and i will see you guys in the next one bye